Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are in the beautiful zone of Nagrand from the Burning Crusade expansion. I did a farm for two and a half hours one evening to see how much I could make and then report back to you guys just how good the farm is. Enjoy. So guys, here we are at the start of the farm. I'm going to show you a optimal route that's I have done both on live stream and in my own time and I believe this is truly the best route if you want to optimize your gold for this multi farm that I'm about to show you. Now it obviously involves skinning, what else do you think? it would involve but it does involve collecting other things and if you've got herbalism or mining this route can be even better so there are four mobs specifically that we're going for we're going for these air elemental type storm rages i think there are dust um dust ones as well around here we're going for these cleft hoof creatures the wild elix if you've got nothing else to kill kill them but your priority is really the cleft hoof bull or any cleft hoof mob then the storm rager then the shadow mobs which are just located around kind of these crop formations which i've definitely noticed there are more around these parts which are the void spawn and then finally you've got these white crystallizations where there are white crystals for you to pick up worth around five to ten gold the shadow uh, drops which is the um, what is it mote of shadow is it um, is about 10 gold and the mote of air is worth about 40 gold the cleft tooth hide which we're going to be going for is worth about 60 gold but also if you don't get that you have the knot hide leather which is 30 gold so let me just show you the route on the map here if you just follow the green line so what you're going to do is you're going to come down and then you're going to make a kind of zigzag all the way along this side and you're going to keep zigzagging all the way now the reason for the zigzagging is so that you get both a good mixture of the void spawns the crystals and the cleft too so you're going to do a zigzag right up until you get to this mound and now here you're going to look for the packs of cleft hooves that you need to kill and then you're going to fly all the way just to this side of the the north side of the ring of trials and you're going to do another zigzag along here like this so just follow the line and then what you're going to do is you're going to come down past Kilsora fortress all the way through this valley until you get back to our spawn and you're going to do that ring over and over again so let me show you quickly what it looks like i will speed up the video enjoy this part guys and if you don't agree with me that this is the best route that's fair enough you can uh comment in the uh comment boxes below the video and let me know why it's not the best route and what is a more optimal route but this was the one i was using and this is how much gold i made doing it so enjoy the route guys enjoy the video i'm going to speed this up and i will see you at the end of the route so guys first of all do not get forget your potion your dark moon fire water your charge vial of alacrity and obviously the fried bonefish now i will speed it up here just so you can see but remember the priority order that we want to kill things in
So guys, here we are once again at Stormwind. Let's see how much we've made in one evening farming that route of Nagrand over and over again. Hopefully this gives people an idea if you're strapped for time or you only get to play for two or three evenings a week and you're trying to afford uh, a way to pay membership outside of real life money, this will give you a good option to buy a token. Now, let's go actually see. I've not even checked the loot. I've not even looked at how much things are worth. So let's take a quick look. Now, obviously, I did get some transmogs like always. I'm not going to include them in the final price. I'm just going to look at the reagents that I went to collect. So let's see. So first of all, we've got the thick cleft tooth leather. So that has gone down to 54 gold. This is just people undercutting you can see there i collected another load another time but just again this is from one evening so we've got 299 that is really pretty good then we've got 332 knot hide leather we've got 120 moats there that is really really nice what you do want to do though is you want to check the price on primals so let's just do that by real quick way we can so you can see definitely that it's better to sell the moats rather than to make a primal so i could have done that on the auction house but oh actually though when you look at that it's that's actually a slight profit so maybe it's actually better to so much primals i'm gonna put them on as moats because i've got some more primals on the auction house right now so we've got another 5k on that plus the 16k plus 900 from that and then plus all of these crystals which is another 3k from that we've got some never weave we've got all this cleft hoof me kind of kind of random uh oh we can't sell that and i think that's everything guys so that's 3k plus 6k plus 900 plus 16k so let's do that on 16 plus 6 plus 1 plus 3 so we're probably looking at looking at all this we're looking at around an hour anywhere between 10 and 12k which is not bad but this gold farm definitely isn't as good as what I've heard um, I've heard various people say it's worth up to 30k an hour honestly I don't know how that's possible uh, unless the prices are, are, are different now I'm not questioning people's integrity or validity here I'm just going off the prices from the farm for myself anyway i hope this video has been useful i hope you've learned a good gold farming method but i do think for one evening 26k is nothing to look down upon so if you have enjoyed the video guys please be sure to subscribe and also head over to my twitch and drop me a follow on there because i am going to be streaming on there once again the main reason is because of the quality of the streams and due to my internet connection i'm actually struggling with good quality on youtube which is kind of annoying when i want to get this consistently good content however i will still be uploading videos as often as i can and whenever i have something really good to show you finally guys remember be kind, be peaceful, and most of all, you are appreciated. Bye.